Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving deep into a fault code that's specific to Toyota, Lexus, and Scion vehicles. P1349. If you scanned your car and this code popped up, you're probably seeing a description like VVT system malfunction. It sounds a bit scary, but don't worry. We're going to break down exactly what it means, what causes it, and how you can fix it. So, grab your tools, and let's get started. First things first, what is VV VVT stands for Variable Valve Timing. Think of it as your engine's ability to breathe more efficiently at different speeds. At low RPMs, it adjusts the timing for smooth idling and better fuel economy. When you floor it, it changes the timing again to maximize power. This whole system is crucial for modern engine performance and efficiency. The P1349 code specifically points to a problem within Bank 1 of TI system on most inline engines, like a four-cylinder or stride six. Bank 1 is your only bank. On V6 or V8 engines, Bank 1 is the side that contains cylinder number 1. So, what triggers this P1349 code? The engine's computer, or ECM, is constantly monitoring the camshaft position. It expects the camshaft to be at a certain angle based on your driving. If the actual position doesn't match the desired position for a few seconds, the ECM gets confused, flags a problem, and turns on your check engine light. You might also notice some symptoms like a rough idle, poor acceleration, stalling, or even a decrease in your gas mileage. It as your car is way of telling you something is unquite right with its breathing. Now for the most common culprit behind P1349, the oil control valve, or OCV. This little solenoid is the heart of the VVT system. It uses oil pressure to move the VVT actuator, which in turn adjusts the camshaft timing. If the OCV gets clogged with sludge or simply fails electronically, it can't direct oil pressure correctly, and the whole system goes haywire. Dirty engine oil is a major enemy here. If you're not keeping up with your oil changes, sludge can build up and clog the tiny passages and filter screen within the OCV. So, how do we diagnose this? The first step is always a visual inspection. Check your oil level and condition. Is it low? Is it dark and sludgy? A simple oil and filter change can sometimes be all you need, especially if the maintenance has been neglected. Next, locate the oil control valve on bank one. It's usually on the cylinder head, near the VVT gear, with an electrical connector attached. Unplug it and check the resistance across its two pins with a multi- For most Toyotas, you're looking for a reading between 6.9 and 7.9 ohms. At room temperature, if it's an open circuit or way outside that range, the valve itself is bad. You can also do an active test. Carefully remove the OCV from the engine. Be prepared for a little oil to spill. You can then apply 12 volts from your car battery directly to the valve's terminals. When you apply power, you should hear a distinct click and see the internal spool valve move. If it doesn't move, or it seems sticky, it's either clogged or has failed mechanically. Sometimes, a good cleaning with brake cleaner can bring a sludgy OCV back to life, but for a long-term, reliable fix. Replacement is often the best bet. Do you unforget to clean the OCV's filter screen too? It has a small mesh screen, usually located in the cylinder head right below where the OCV sits. Once you've replaced the faulty part or performed a thorough cleaning and oil change, clear the codes with your scan tool and take the car for a drive. Monitor the system to make sure the P1349 code doesn't return. By following these steps, you can confidently diagnose and repair this common Toyota issue yourself. You get your engine running smoothly again. That's all for today's look at code P1349. I hope this guide was helpful. If it was, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more DIY repair guides. Got any questions? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.